Uh, I found me I can record a good video. Let's see. We are here. We are here. Hey, it's Sarah. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Okay. So, on a serious note, we are back to the C10 pickup. We're about to do a gauge swap. We're going from the stock gauges to electronic gauges. We're keeping the same front face right here, the nice wood grain. It goes with the truck. It's original. Uh, it's just matter of opinion and what you like and what you don't like, but I think it's going to look really sweet with the stock face and new electronic gauges. So uh, keep watching because I'm going to show you how to take apart the dash and we're going to take out the gauges and I will be showing you how to put in the new gauges, how to wire up these gauges, and how to make this thing just look freaking awesome. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. the screws and everything out of the dash there was one thing here let me flip the camera around so when it came to the aftermarket radio that was put in there was a face plate on it and then the knobs and they had a nut over the face plate so I put them back on so I didn't lose them but I'll show you how it was as this was the last thing holding the front panel on Oops, shoot So, voila, it was like this, and it had a knot on it, we'll just pretend, and then it had a knob, like so, ta-da, we're not going to put it all back together, so anyways, pull the knobs off, pull the nuts off each knob, pull the front face off, I didn't really get that recorded, but oh well. Uh, I would suggest putting, put your nuts back on your knobs. That way, when you go to put your face plate back on, you uh, know what you're doing. And then, after everything's out, you should be able to gently pull the sucker off. Alright, and to be clear. Got it. I'm squished. All right, so I had to take the whole dash off because of the way the instrument cluster sits in the dash. If you want to bring it over here. It sits behind the actual uh, frame or body of the vehicle. So I had to take out the dash so we could wiggle it out this way. I had to go up and out, which is a little bit of a pain. I was just stuck in there. There we go. And luckily, my awesome husband already cut the oil line, so I didn't have to mess with that. And then I just uh, released the speed sensor. Just pull down on the bracket, and it unlocks it, and you pull it out. And there you go. If you can get the dash out, and you're getting this out. And now we're going to take it in the house and take it apart.
three bosses on here that need to be cut, as shown in the video. We want to bring all the wires to the back. What's up, Doc? She's to be in bed. I'm not going to go to bed. I'm not. Splice the powers together and splice the grounds. Alright, now it is quiet. I'm back to put this together. I'm back, it's back. I move locations. Hopefully, a secret location where nobody can find me. Anyway, so we're gonna put these back together now. I'm gonna put this back together. I got all the wires routed, tied together where I want them to go out the back of the stock uh, housing for the cluster. I spliced the wires. I had to extend them because the wires from the circuit board, the gauges weren't long enough, so I spliced my own wires on to make it longer. Uh, the gauges themselves fit pretty nicely. Gauge and the instructions you'll see. That's how you put the bolts and washers together to mount this set of gauges up off the other board higher. But we'll get it together. I'll show you this. The wiring itself, like I said, I'd extend the wires. I didn't have all the same colors, so I just made sure I wrote down what color wires I ran to what from the gauges. And then I put them on a connector. In a, a lot of the videos I've watched, they show Deutsch connectors, but I use a Molex. I <clears throat> was going to run the ground separate behind the cluster. There was an available ground, but I realized that too late. So if you get uh, probably like a 13 way or 14 way actually, you can put the ground in there too. I just had to do mine separate because I realized too late. Um, that's about it. I brought the wires out the back, and I'm going to put this back together. One more thing, the fuel gauge in the instructions, it'll tell you whatever uh, application you're going to use. We're gonna, it'll tell you which one, where to set your dip switches. So ours is a GM, so one is on and two is off. Make sure you set that or else you're going to have to take the whole thing back out and do it again. I'm not saying I did or did not have to do that. But uh, that's about it. Let me get this back together and you can watch in the video how to do it. Swapping out the uh, connector inside the truck from the stock cages, the stock wiring wires. We're going to chop that sucker off and we're going to put on our end to match up to gauges. The blinkers and everything are integrated into them, so pretty much we're going to utilize almost all the wires in here except for maybe three of them. But we'll go over that when we wire the truck. So I hope you learned something from this and had fun. See you next time. Don't think we'd leave you hanging without seeing what they look like. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.